So yesterday I finally got in after four or five days, my set of Kanadi trail hog tires. I bought these to replace some BF Goodrich KM2s that I had on here previously as my trail tires. And then I had some stock tires and wheels that I would swap out for my daily driving. But after going back and forth for a couple of years, I decided to just get a set of 37, 1250 all terrains to ride on here all the time to have that balance of a quiet ride and also the look because really the 37s look so nice on here is hard having the stock tires back on and only having the 37s on while we were wheeling but saw these on simple tire and around and not many people have run these in the past i've seen a couple long reviews but there's not too much information out there they look like an old wrangler uh, dura track in years past the side lugs are spaced a little differently but since I could save four to five hundred dollars on a set of five tires, I went ahead and ordered these based on the majority of really good reviews from people online. And first impressions, this is a 37-1250. It's it is 10 ply E-rated, which could make you a little nervous on your ride, but it ends up being one of the lightest 37-1250 tires out there. It's 72 pounds a tire. The lightest 37 you can get uh, is a little bit under 69 pounds. The BFG All-Terrain is 69 pounds. And there are a couple other off-brands that are mud terrains or highway rib style that are a pound or so lighter than the BFG. So these are one of the lightest 37s available. And the section width appears to be a little narrower than my KM2s. They sit a little narrower. It's a higher, looks like a little bit of a crown, probably due to the narrow rims as I run stock wheels as you can see here sort of like the Milestar Patagonia as it rides mostly on the center but I'm getting a pretty good pattern you can see it's really contacting the road out to about right here so that's actually pretty perfect on the way back after having them installed and then after a short test drive out on the county roads and about 60 70 miles an hour they balanced out perfectly they are really quiet, even with the soft top. Really, really quiet. I'm so happy. Now we can talk inside the Jeep. The KM2s were older. They were getting kind of loud. And it was made it difficult for the kids to hear in the back. But the tires, they track straight and true. They don't have any wandering. They don't catch grooves in the road. I was wondering how well they would uh, track because you just never know sometimes when you're trying different brands, how the tires constructed. But overall, first impressions, first 50 or so miles very pleased with how they drive they're very smooth they ride really well they ride a little better than the km2s did i ran the km2s they were a d-rated eight ply tire i ran them at 28 psi these tires are e-rated 10 ply i'm running them at 29 psi is so far with it what i have in there from the tire shop they really ride great. They take up the smaller bumps and such better. They feel softer than the KM2s. It could just be because they're new rubber, but they really don't ride bad. And it looks like I could actually run a little less PSI than I am right now, but I kind of am liking where it is right now. Also a question to get asked a lot, I see people asking a ton is, will a 37 inch fit in the spare spot? And I really wanted my spare to not stick out farther away from the door because that just generates more leverage so i thought i'll just mount it up i'll see if i can get it on there on the stock wheel and see uh, if it will fit the third brake light and all that so as far as the third brake light i took out the four screws lifted up the third brake light bracket and then installed just the top two screws it tightens down strong doesn't move very stable so that fits the 37 perfectly and the stock wheel went right on over the camera. This is a JK Hard Rock Rubicon wheel. And tightened her down. It touches the bumper down here. Just touches the bumper. Which I have no problem with at all. Probably a little bit of movement from the body to the frame, but I have not heard anything. The tire doesn't visibly move or shake when we're going down the road. And it does sit, I don't know if you can see in there, firmly against the tire bumpers 
to keep the tire stable on the road. And not seeing any tire movement or vibration really makes me feel like this will be A-OK. -okay. This is only a 72 pound tire, so it's only about 10 pounds more than the stock tire, which is really awesome. And not having to put an extra aftermarket bracket pushing the tire out and causing more leverage on the door makes me comfortable for now with the rear tailgate the where where it is now later on i may get a proper spare tire reinforcement um, kit for the tailgate hinges the mopar reinforcement doesn't do anything to reinforce the hinges itself themselves that is so i think uh, looking at some of the other options uh, terraflex alpha perhaps and they get that completely available if it's not already or Rugged Ridge also has one that has hinges that are a little beefier that replace. But so far, don't I don't have the door drop when I open the door. Just give it a little tug. And the tire touches right here. As you can see, a little rub, but nothing severe. And everything works as it should. Pretty awesome. And the door doesn't sag when I open it. So all in all, very excited. For some reason, these seem a bit bigger than the old KM2s. I don't know why. The uh, overall height, I believe, is 36.65, which is pretty much right on with the KM2s. But I noticed when I flexed it out, I actually touched my back, uh, the loose portion of this back fender, which you can take out, but I never have since the KM2s just barely touched it on full stuff. So they look a little larger, which is kind of cool. The Jeep drives great. I'm looking forward to taking them off-road and seeing how flexible they are, but with the pretty beefy side lugs, I'm not afraid of where we wheel, airing them down. They should have plenty of traction for what I need. And there's lots of deep rain channels in the tread, which and the siping is actually really deep too as well on these side lugs. It goes very deep. We'll have to see how everything um, shakes out kind of in the last 10,000 miles of the tire life and see what siping is left, but... All in all, I'm very excited. I'm very happy with my purchase and uh, looking forward to more long-term testing and keeping y'all updated. I will say that one tire required more weight than usual. So we mounted all four of the tires. They were very low weight, very normal. One tire required a lot more weight, but it's still balanced out and so we put that on the spare. So that's the only thing I'll say there is one out of the five took more weight to balance than the others. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Hope it was informative. I look forward to giving some mileage reports and my odometer is at 25.5 right now. Oh, pardon. I think actually, what is it? 22.5? Let's see. Let's see here. 22.5. So that'll be a marker. I'll track the mileage off of that and we'll go after a while and do some update videos and see what the tread's looking like, how it's wearing. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to y'all soon. See ya.